Yo, Chris, come over, man. I think What's I'm up, man? To... Look, check it out. I made a frog. A froggy? Yeah, meow. I made a boot. Choo choo. Nice. Sweet. Dude. A frog can come on my boat. <laughs> All right. Oh, man, what do you guys got? Dude, dude check it out. It make... doesn't matter what you got. Get back to work. Freaking nerds. That's not what Kuba would say. <laughs> Anthony, and my boy Adon, and my boy Conch over here. Now, we just went to go see Kubo, Tale of Two Strings. Yeah. Anima animation movie, has a kind of stop animation, kind of like Gumby slash CGI. Yeah. How'd you guys feel about that? I don't know about Gumby, but it was more like, you know, Nightmare Before Christmas, really good story. <laughs> Uh, I loved it though. I loved it. Like uh, the way that they comprise, you know, stop animation, paper style mixed with CG. Pretty dope. Yeah, no, I definitely appreciated this movie a lot for what it was. And I'm, I'm like, you know, you come from Box Trolls and, you know, you, oh, you yeah. see that little prince and then you come to this one. And it's like the stop frame is really getting big and I love the traditional aspect of it. So I really like this movie. Yeah, definitely. I appreciate the manual labor it takes to make these. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. So just in case you guys don't know, what we're talking about, there was a movie that was in theaters. It's about a little boy. He is trying to get away from pretty much his family wants to, I guess, kill him. Yeah. Um, he has magical well, they powers. Want to, they want his eye. They do want his eye. They're not going to tell you to the end why, though. They took but, one eye. No, they want um, the eye. And if you are interested, we got Charlize Theron in there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Voice actors. She's She's beautiful. Um, Gorgeous. I will have to say, she's a pretty, pretty girl. Yeah. Uh, she plays the mom. She plays the mom, voice mm -hmm. of the mom. Mama's a monkey. Yeah. So it's a boy, <laughs> monkey, and uh, everyone else. Yeah. Right. Well, she was uh, a monkey at first. Not at first. <laughs> it turned in. Spoiler. Yeah. Oh, it's super spoiler. Damn. <laughs> You're going to be able to figure it out. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, don't, drop the, don't drop the other one, okay? Art Parkinson. <laughs> yeah. Plays Kubo. <clears throat> yes. Uh, Ralph Finis. Finis. Mm -hmm. Plays the Moon King. Um, George Taki. George Takei. Takei, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Big uh, Star Trek. Star Trek. I know where he's from. I saw his, <laughs> yeah. his name. Sorry yeah. about that. Um, he's in it as well. I don't know what he plays. And that's, that's about it as far as like. Uh, oh, Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey. All Pretty right, big all right, all right. All right. You're missing it. He yeah. did really good. He did a really good <laughs> he, job. He did. I don't have to say that. Very, very well. Um, yeah, so I would definitely, if you have kids, they might want to go see it. If you oh, haven't, definitely. if you've seen the preview and you were interested, you should probably go see it. If you have kids, if you're a big kid yourself like us, yeah. I would say go see it. I really like this movie because it's very diverse in the, the audience. It's not you, it's not just for kids. You can go in as an adult right. and really enjoy it. So mm -hmm. yeah. I felt it was mostly for adults or teenagers. But anyway, yeah. so what do you guys think about animation? Animation for me, like you know, it, it's different from what we've been seeing. It's a new as style, far as, for it's sure. a new style, new style. You know, different from like what what we've got going with uh, the old school style of animation, where it was claymation. Uh, but elements of that, but with paper origami, because yeah. it's kind of like an Eastern Japanese movie, so uh, where it kind of takes place. But you know, they incorporated some you know CG elements and other things in there. It was just like brand new, it was fresh to see. Now yeah. I've heard you say that yeah. it's paper origami all day. Yeah. So, yes. are you saying that you believe that it was paper they were doing the stop animation with? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah? definitely, yeah. Paper with wire, you know, whatever that comprised of. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Right. I definitely saw that. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Um, you know, overall, visually, animation. There, there were points where you, they did a very a huge close-up on Kubo. Mm -hmm. And you can see the animation was off on the mouth. Mm -hmm. um, I do know that the new style of, um, of uh, the stop frame animation, they're doing 3D prints of the faces now instead of hand-making them. Oh. <clears throat> so I do think that takes away from some of the detail, but at the same time, you know, if, if you, you rock it, you can get all the expressions down. But um, um, <clears throat> sometimes it was off, but most of the time I really appreciated the animation. Visually, the movie was stunning. 
Um, I would probably definitely go by the art book, and I liked I loved yeah. just about every character I met in that in that movie, and it was and I, I say that with not lightly at all. I got to meet every character in that movie and appreciate them for what they were. So th- this movie did a lot for me. Yeah, definitely. Visually, I did like it. There were some things that they definitely messed up on um, that I, that just felt like I don't want to I, I want to say lazy because I feel like they could have corrected it, mm-hmm. but they just didn't with the whole grandfather at the end. Mm-hmm. Um, his character or creature they turned into it was just bad graphics it just looked like I was looking at something that was supposed to be this small mm-hmm. but they blew it up like this mm-hmm. and so the resolution wasn't good but overall I do appreciate it I, I appreciate all the time that goes in, into the stop animation because I'm not about to do look now yeah. Take a picture. Take a picture. Now take a picture. Right. Now take a picture. <laughs> now, I'm not going to do that. You know, no, no. No. <laughs> so, a little history on me. Um, there was one time I was sick and I was living in Lancaster and I was bored. I was really into WWE and I got my little video camera and I would I would get a frame, let it go, and then press it again and I would make my wrestlers wrestle in the ring. And my mom came in on me. It was funny because I had a, a piece of tape going to the top of the ceiling because I wanted to jump off the turnbuckle and land down. So I cut pieces of tape in an arc and attached them to each one and took pictures. And she's like, what are you doing? I'm like, <laughs> I'm doing stop frame animation. Is that what you were talking about, Steve, wow. when we went to Atlanta? Like yeah. We, oh, I don't know what you guys were talking yeah. about. I was like, okay, I guess they drew something on a piece of paper and he had tape. And I had no idea what you guys were talking about. <laughs> wow. That's no, cool. No, That's it, cool. It, it was a fun like. A lot of work goes into it. You'd be surprised, like right. making those poses. You're like, oh yeah, I got 20 seconds of film, and I just spent four hours on it. <laughs> right. That's, that's my thing. Like, I, I know I'm not gonna do yeah. it. So I do appreciate it. Oh, you know, whoever's still doing that in the business, I think I, you know, kudos to you. Yeah. Um, yeah so I definitely do appreciate it because it's not all just like all this new age CGI stuff. You know, we're gonna go back in the day. Right. You know, Gumby. That's that's my reference. Gumby. <laughs> we're gonna do this stop animation because it, it still. Ha- I think it still has a need. You know, I think kids yeah. need to be able to see that. Like, there's different ways of doing this. Not all just computer yeah, generated. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, so I did appreciate that. What did you guys think about the voice acting though? I love the voice yeah, acting. I it. Yeah, I, it was it was on par. You know, I I get that it's like a a Japanese you know style movie, and uh, there were some like you know Asian actors in there, but for the most part, you know. Um, it didn't detract from the story. Everyone's, you know, um, you know, acting was on point. You know what I did love on the side of the voice acting? When they didn't have to say anything and you got what was going on and the story and the visuals just meshed in together. Like just how when Kubo was walking after, you know, he oh, yeah. looked at his mom. <laughs> just, just all that. There was no voicing. There was nothing there. He gets there and <clears throat> it's just like even that whole scene, not a word was spoken. And you just get this feeling from the characters, and I'm sitting there going like, "This, I, I, I love." I'm it, it, it's just an artsy movie, yeah. you know. When when you think about, you know, like, okay, they they use this origami and the stop motion and and the uh, guitar that they use to kind of like, you know, bring like this like like feeling to the movie. It was just like oh, yeah. it, it, I was all for it. I was like, "This is awesome," you know. So, so a lot of people, either you like Matthew McConaughey or you don't. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Did I didn't you, know that. They, yeah, a lot of people. That's less like. <laughs> I just like them. <laughs> it's mostly, that's, I guess, older people. It's like either young people kind of like them. Okay. Older. Some to me, sometimes he gets a little irritating and kind of repetitive. But what do you guys think about Matthew McConaughey? Yeah, I liked his acting. Great humor. Yeah, he was he was the humor. Yeah, he 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 just brought a lot of uh, he he brought he just brought the humor to it. He was the comedic value in the whole story. And, um, you, you know, there's parts where you think he's serious and he's going and he's going and you're like, oh, thank you, you got, and you're not stopping. But you should have stopped ten words ago. And, and <laughs> right. it's like, but, you, you know, you, he, he means well. And that's what's fun about him. I, I really enjoyed the character. Yeah, he, he was a fun character. The and, and, yeah, you need that comedic relief. <laughs> right? Yeah. I'm actually glad that they, they told me that he was a Beatle. I didn't really think he was a Beatle. I know he had multiple, he had six, you know, limbs, but I thought mm-hmm. maybe he was just... I don't know, some magical guy that got six limbs. I'm glad that they told me he was... Yeah, you got a backstory to his yeah. character. Because I'm yeah. like, what is that? Yeah. But um, I definitely like... I, I liked... I, you know what? I didn't... I couldn't pin who he was at first. No. I was like, man, that voice sounds so oh, familiar. Yeah. yeah, no spoilers. <laughs> no, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Exactly. <laughs> I, don't, I don't give out spoilers. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> spoilers. <laughs> No, but yeah, like, uh, I, I didn't know at all. Like, and I had, like, hints, like, only towards the end, up until who he was, and then 
then I found out and I was like, wow, that was cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I like. I definitely like the the voice acting. Um, to me, I'm always looking for that when it comes to animation. Any animation. Yeah. Is how is the voice acting? And like with Jungle Book, I did not like the voice acting. You know, if you're gonna be a wolf, you need to be. You need to have a an, an intimidating voice. You need to have a strong voice. They didn't do that for me. With all, there were some characters that did. They were that were great. Yeah. You know, but for for as a whole, there was a lot of weak links in that movie. I just felt like they were just you know getting people just because they were you know big names, recognizable voices. Right. Yeah. This one, I felt like they actually cast it correctly. Yeah. Like, yeah. Or they directed it correctly. Oh, you didn't say it right this time. Let's do it again. So that you get the, the real feeling. You right, know, like so. McConaughey's character, I had no clue that mm -hmm. was his voice until I saw the credits and I was like, that's who it was? No way, <laughs> it is! <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I thought it was, uh, oh man, why can't I think of his name? Um, the Batman with the nipples, was his name? Oh, George Mark Clooney? Clooney? George Clooney, oh, I, thought George Clooney. George Clooney. Yeah. I thought it was George Clooney. Yeah, I thought it was George Clooney. And I was what? like, that sounds Clooney. like George Clooney a little bit. Yeah. But I, I can I, see I, that. I, I can see that, though. Okay, yeah. That yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like thinking of George Clooney. He's like, yeah, he's got, yeah, okay. okay. Right. Because he's not a humorous. I, I don't really yeah, think Ocean's of... Yeah, 13 kind of... Yeah, you know, like, I didn't really yeah. think of Matthew McConaughey as, like, a humorous actor, you know? So I couldn't really, I couldn't peg it until I saw the actual... Credits, you know. Yeah, Very actually, cool. the Beatle kind of reminded me of a, a not as clumsy version of Kronk from uh, *Emperor's New Groove*. Oh, mm. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I can see that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. That's why I enjoyed it. It wasn't as, as clumsy, but definitely up there with the, the comedic value. That's why I enjoyed it. So, who's your favorite character? <laughs> if you had to pick one, who would be your favorite character? Oh man, yeah. Uh, I would say he's up there. You know, the Beatle. He's like one and. Kubo, yeah, I would say both of them, because Kubo, you see him develop, you know, and it's just like, you know, from being a baby to, like, this kid, and then, like, you know, it, he has all these elements, everything's against him, oh, you know? I'm so glad you brought that up. And he's just like... <laughs> <laughs> I, okay. I didn't like the movie, so I'm saying all the things that I like now. Yes. But I did not like the movie, but I'm glad you brought that up, development. All right, so we'll get back to that. <laughs> Put a pin on it. <laughs> um, yeah. I think I related to Kubo the most just because his inner, who he was is very much how my spirit works. It, he, he, you know, he, he struggles, but he finds hope where, where there's a hopeless. And when he realizes his potential, he realizes what he's capable of doing, and he realizes what he can do is for others, not himself. And um, you know, just just the whole idea behind who he is and who he, I feel like he's going to become such a great person. For, and, and, as if they ever did more of these movies because it just who he was I loved every bit of it and it just, it just made me reflect yeah so, mm -hmm. I was a big fan of the the mom or the, the monkey or yeah. the mom or the monkey whatever whichever one you want to pick mm -hmm. except for with the, not the mom when she was like blind or whatever she was or dead to the world but when she was actually being you know festive and you know interacting with her son right yeah I liked that and I definitely liked the monkey she was the only one that seemed to like have a real plan. Yeah, she had. You know, she plan. was like yeah. the leader. Absolutely. You know, so I definitely like that. You know, when the Beatles was like, uh, I definitely don't got this. Like, oh, <laughs> give me this sword. Yeah. You know, like let me do it. You the, know, the so. monkey was awesome. <laughs> yeah. She had so like the action was great. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know if you caught it, but the only reason why she was she was dazed and confused was during the day, and um, technically because she was part of the night, that's why she she was never out during the day. Right. So that's the only reason why she was alive during the night. Kind of like vampire with. Uh, so that's mind, when she woke up and she was a part of the night. Yeah, <clears throat> well, she, she came was. from the stars and the moon. You know, all so, that stuff. So her sister. Are you guys making this up? No, no. Like if you make the connection, it's the there. grandfather was a moon king, and uh, you know she was part of that. You know, the she moon, the down. stars. Okay. Yeah. I think they didn't say that specifically, but... <laughs> that, and then she got <laughs> thumped on the head, so... so. Now we're what I'm going to get into now. Anything you guys did not like? Uh, there, there was a couple... Okay, we're getting into the dislikes now. So, I mean, like, when we're, when we're talking about dislikes, it, it's hard for me to pick apart this movie because I, I just, you know, had fun with it the whole time. Like, I was mm -hmm. into the story, Kubo's doing his thing on the guitar, and everyone's into it. But, you know, when they're doing, like, these close-ups on some of these characters... And the mouth is like moving, and the audio is kind of off. I was just like, hmm, okay, uh, that's fine. I can, I, I can forgive that because how are you going to do that with that animation? It's going to yeah. take forever. You know, it was off a little bit. So I mean, I uh, 
th- th- there was that, and uh, that's all I really want to pick apart. That's it. So there were some slow parts in the movie, but you know, it I was so wrapped in the environments and the visual visuals, mm-hmm. it didn't really phase me too much. But there was points where the movie did get slow. Um, but I, I wasn't, you know, knocking it too much. Um, I did get my hero to villain complex, not with the overall villain, but mm-hmm. I got it with these two sisters mm-hmm. that definitely felt more vindictive, and I lo- I love that. Um, but uh, overall, like I mean, like like I said, Don, I can't pick it apart aside from some of the animation stuff where the the, the, the lips weren't moving correctly, or it didn't seem like it. But I mean, it's not actually it's not like I drew every single frame animation. They had to make different yeah. faces and swap them out. So, um, and it's not like I'm not going to afford it at all. But um, uh, over the soundtrack was good. I loved the music yes. behind it. The visuals were Love great. So I, I can't pick it apart. Um, I, I would literally be nitpicking, and I'm not going to waste my time doing that in this movie because I loved it. Yeah. Ah, you <laughs> picking. Yeah. So the, the 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 premise of the movie is this boy is a storyteller. His mom's a storyteller. He's a storyteller. He right. tells stories to the whole village. Mm-hmm. Yes. But when they're telling me the story of the storytellers, mm-hmm. they're not telling me all I need to know. Then they're, they're leaving a lot of stuff out. The fact that he's developing mm-hmm. without any practice or right. any teaching or anything like that right and it wasn't like this is over you know a long period of time no he just starts just having all these powers all of a sudden right and i'm like well i mean okay maybe it's because he's been through like a stressful time and all of a sudden these powers are unlocking but mm-hmm. i don't really want to buy that why are you why are you growing in your strength right you know i don't i i don't like that it's just like so it's a it's an anime style <laughs> yeah right so Goku, okay. I loved it when Goku <laughs> would go train for like a net twelve episodes. series <laughs> for the whole season. But I understood why it is he got those powers. The Dragon Trail. All right, we're gonna get there, King after, Kai. I'm coming. All right, <laughs> after, season after the whole Cell Saga. Yeah, he just started coming up with abilities. I'm like, okay, it's cool, but how'd you get that? Who'd you get it from? You just thought of it one day, and when? <laughs> how long did it take? So I like to see the development. Yeah. I would like to like have like him doing some exercises. Okay, do this with the paper. Like having the monkey tell him right. mm-hmm. what to do. Yeah. I definitely would have wanted that. It was a it was not I felt like it wasn't for kids. So I took my son, as you guys saw in the first reaction, and he's looking around, he's like kind of fidgety. Usually when he's watching the movie, he's watching the movie. <laughs> I gotta call his name a hundred times. You know, so I didn't even feel like he really liked it too much as it wasn't, to me, it wasn't an exciting movie. It wasn't a lot going on. There was some exciting parts. Mm-hmm. I'm not going gonna, gonna to knock that. It was okay. But as far as like continuous like stuff going on that would keep a kid, this is a kid movie, a kid's attention, I don't think that it really did that too well. Even, even me, I'm like, oh man, can we come on? Let's go. <laughs> And some things we just couldn't. It was just weird. Like like the waves were awesome in the beginning. Yeah. That at that animation, I know that took so long to do. Yeah. And I'm like, that is awesome. Just just <laughs> for the fact that I know how much time and effort it takes to do that. Yeah. They had my attention. And then when they were on the, I guess the the, the calmer water, water ocean. Yeah. That ocean sucked. <laughs> and I just I don't know. It just wasn't. It's not a consistent movie for me. It was just very. Kind of like high has had highs and lows, but the lows are really long. And if I don't know anything about the story, give me a reason to care about them or care about this scene versus it, 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 instead of like, okay, you should be able to empathize. I know. Then we should be able to empathize, but really, you should just tell me why it's like something. I don't want to have to like, you know what, if that happened in real life, I guess I would feel that way. <laughs> Let it already be interesting. Yeah. So for me, I was not interested, and I felt that my son wasn't interested. So to me, it's not a good cartoon movie that's for kids. Not for kids, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah I definitely see where some kids M- Maybe like, like the PG-13 crowd. I mean, it, n- not to say that, you know, th- there was like violence or anything. It, it's a PG movie, but yeah. something for kids to follow, I guess, story-wise, storytelling-wise. Um, I don't know, I just had such a huge appreciation for what the movie was giving me. That I loved you didn't think it was that. predictable at all? No, because there were the, the, there, there, there's points. Yeah, there was points that I could predict it, but like, <clears throat> you know, I just let it kind of like take 
take the movie for what it was, you know? And I don't want to predict it. I just want to enjoy it. Just tell me this story. Because I have never heard this story before. And when he's going to the village, and he's telling these villagers a story that his mother told him, well, that story... It's not just pretend. It's a real story that she went through. And I like that. I'm not, 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 not yeah. knocking that. But, yeah. but yeah. I, think, I think the disconnect it, it was, with you It was is, a good storytelling. Like, yeah, well, so that's the thing. Like, the one thing, like, again, this is, this is underground. Because the thing is, I, I write stories. I, I write characters. I, I do all that stuff. So the thing is, I'm watching this stuff, looking at it from that perspective. And I guess I can see where you're, go, where you're, you're frustrated because you want to get that development. Right. And I may have not seen the development. But I definitely got a sense of it because, I mean, he, he was a baby when he got there, and then all of a sudden he was, what, like, you know, 10 years old or something like that, maybe less than that. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, something definitely happened between that time frame. And, you know, it would have done them some good to do some type of transitional phase of when, she's, when she was coherent and she started teaching him how to use the guitar and what, he can, what he's capable of doing. Yeah. But, um, you know, when, um, when he went and told the story and he did all that stuff, that told me that... Um, you know, he he was he understood his powers enough, and, and he got to a point where he reached that. But um, they were becoming stronger to the point where his little origami is became huge and massive, and he realized what he can control. Right. But uh, even then, some of the other aspects, you know, even the grandfather itself, um, some of the things they, they left as cliffhangers. It, it, I love. I, I ended up loving the movie more, which will probably weird people out because at the end of that movie, I started telling myself stories and filling in the gaps myself and was not limited with this movie based upon what they told me. So it's like, I mean, and so yeah. I don't want to fill in any gaps for you, the storyteller. Yeah, I understand that. But like me, being who I am, like I said, I write stories. I'm thinking, oh my God, you could totally expand on this universe. And the grandfather, you know, you can make this whole movie just about him and why he got to where he was at. And I'm thinking, maybe this happened, maybe this happened. Yeah. So it made me really excited because... Now, if they ever were to do, do a prequel, are there a sequel to fill in some of those gaps? Yeah. Oh my god, like, I'd totally be down for it, because I'm really excited to see more of these characters now, and I have all these ideas going in my head, and I'm just thinking, like, you need to hire me. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, yeah. Because I'm rolling in the dump. <laughs> I think I'm going to let you guys go see the sequel if there's one. Oh, I'll definitely go see it. I, I just couldn't get with it. It, was, it just didn't do anything for me. And I know that... You know, everyone sees movies for different reasons, but as a, I like kid movies. I've seen Zoo, Zootopia. I've yeah. seen Finding Dory. Mm -hmm. I've even seen BFG. BFG. <laughs> <laughs> this movie is better than BFG. I just want to say that <laughs> every movie is going to be better than yes, BFG. <laughs> that is definitely the bar for the lowest, right? The worst, <laughs> that the, was that bad. the most terrible movie ever. Yeah, but uh, anyway. Um, Tam Willis saying BFG. other movies. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. she was amazing. <laughs> no, no, I know you're not gonna trick me into that. Um, yeah, I mean like a, a, a Zootopia that came out this year, you know. And, right, all type uh, of stuff. I Finding like kid movies. Yeah, you know. So i and I and I loved Finding Dory and I loved Zootopia. I would definitely watch those again. I love Jungle Book. Oh, I just, I just, I also went to go see Secret Life of Pets, yeah. and I liked it. Some people, I've heard someone say they didn't like it, but I liked it. I enjoyed it. It was always stuff going on. Mm -hmm. The story was very fluent. Yeah, it was kind of predictable, but it was just in. I was enjoying the way they told that version of that story. Right. Mm -hmm. I knew it was going to happen, but I liked how they made it their own. So comparing those to this Kubo one, it's just kind of slow for me. It's just slow. Um, okay. It didn't speak to the kid in me. And that's what I that's what I go watch the cartoon the kid cartoons for mm -hmm. the new movie that's coming out about the 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 I guess the animals that are singing on the show. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That looks I cool. definitely want to go see that. Oh yeah. absolutely, yeah. But I just feel like it's gonna be it's definitely better than this one. It's gonna always be something going on. It's not gonna just be like these long out you know dialogues or even that troll one. I saw oh, a yeah. trailer oh, for yeah. that. That was yeah, hilarious. Yeah, I definitely want to see that. I was like, that, uh, hey, that's the first trailer I've seen for it. I'm like, that actually looks pretty fun. Oh, let me see yeah. your guitar. <laughs> 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 right. right. But, oh, let me see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. Poops, cupcakes. Oh, you want cupcakes? You know? yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm hoping that's, that is good. Yeah, there's yeah. another movie, the, the, the Monster Calling one. Like, I know, like, some people were looking. I, I actually am really hoping for I, that, that movie. I'm going to probably just fall in love with. It looks like Groot. He, he does look. Well, Groot. when you get when you close up, it was different. You see a lot more. Yeah, Roots. but it's still Less a tree. Yeah, I, I thought it was a horror movie at first. I was like, uh, the kid should have, uh, Derek, you want to come here? <laughs> it did look a little scary. Yeah, yeah but I, like, I, I, I'm, I'm looking forward. I actually bought the book the other day because I want to read it before I see the movie. So, yeah. yeah. All right, so let's do our.
our blitz time. Blitz. Break room blitz, blitz baby. All right. All right, blitz. All right, blitz. All right, so I uh, really love the story. Had a huge appreciation for the stop motion that they gave us. The um, music was on point. Um, and I think it sent a message more than anything. It sent a message about, you know, creating moments of your life, sharing stories with your kids, because your kids are going to share along those moments. And, you know, those stories are going to be passed on. It's going to go on forever, you know? And so I, like I, that. I, 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 like that. I really appreciated that. Yeah. You know, it, it hit home because, you know, when I think about it, you know, my mom, my dad, they tell me stories about when they grew up and, you know, I, I just pass that along. It's like I take that into consideration with my own life, you know, and I got that sense of this. And then the adventure that they took us on, it was kind of like Lord of the Rings-esque where they were on a mission to, you know, uh, complete their goal. You know, we had an end point with, you know, you know, bad guys on their tail. You just compared it to Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> did. Absolutely Jeez. did. Absolutely. Because we had this journey, you know, they went on yeah. a journey. And, and and even Lord of the Rings had their moments like, you guys still watching? <laughs> <laughs> right. But you still Heck love the freaking no. movie. Heck no. They, they consolidated this <laughs> journey. <laughs> with the... <laughs> it, From start to finish. So, I mean, overall, yes, the stop motion wasn't on point with some of the facial features and things like that. Um, it may have had low points, but it didn't detract from the story because yeah, they, they were they were on the way, you know. Um, overall, and the voice acting was funny and serious when it had to be, you know. Um, mm -hmm. So well, overall, I had to give it a nine out of ten. I enjoyed it. I, I really enjoyed oh, it. Oh man! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I like seeing your facial expressions sometimes because I feel like you're just so like impaled by it. You're it's like, hard oh, to hear. Oh, oh nine. Like, what? <laughs> So deep. What's happening? <laughs> Derek's like, get your power of positivity <laughs> off of me. Get it off. <laughs> I can't, I can't, a nine, so that means that, did you see Zootopia? Yeah, no. no. Oh, yes, I did. I saw Zootopia. And it was better than Zootopia. I thought Zootopia was really good, too. It's a nine, too? Uh, you know what? I enjoyed this movie better than Zootopia. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. Have these discussions. <laughs> I didn't get it. I, I, I definitely didn't get that. Yeah. yeah. Yo, all right, go. Break the right. blitz. So here's the blitz. Um, here at a villain complex. Got it. I fell in love with the characters. Got it. Kubo was the driving. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Got him! <'em! laughs> um, the story was fun. Um, the slow points counted for me, visuals were amazing, and I'm going to pinch off of you there, but the thing is, there was a message in this, and uh, the thing is, uh, you know, you know, you guys know me, if the movie hits me on a personal level, and due to current events, it definitely hit me on a personal level for, for hope for things, and the thing is, people have always mattered to me, and in this world, Kubo, people began, began to be his world, mm -hmm. and, and I loved that aspect, and then I just, I loved a lot of the other charming things about the movie, I don't want to drop too much because it will drop spoilers, but... Um, overall, by far one of my most favorite movies I will watch. I will probably watch it again and, and just to watch it just to feel good. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so it's definitely the, the soundtrack is going to be is great. I, I love the um, uh, what's it called? Guitar. It's a uh, gently is it gentle, guitar weeping? Uh, Beatles. Oh my God, I can't say it. But um, yeah, they did uh, they did a really good cover of it. And uh, so it is also getting uh, ready. Watch his face. Nine. <laughs> Papa. <laughs> That's just the one thing. Yeah, My gosh. It was good. <sighs> Alright, so intellectual value, sure. There were some stories there. So yes, I got my intellectual value. Uh, and there, there was messages. I guess I didn't think about it like that, you know, how you know you, you pass along your traditions to your kids. Yeah. And I guess I didn't think about that. So there was that. Um and I did like the visuals. I liked the voice acting. Uh, that was on par. It was perfect, pretty pretty much. I didn't have any issue with voice acting at any time. Um, some of the jokes were kind of nah, but <laughs> <laughs> but overall, the voice acting was good. Um, but as far as this actual storytelling, it just didn't do it for me. It was a lot of like long dialogue or no dialogue, and it was a lot of holes and a lot of things. I'm like, well, why? Well, and I, I guess maybe I'm impatient because some of the things that you're gonna hear about in the beginning, you're not gonna know. What, why, until like the last 10 minutes of the movie. And I'm like, well, now I don't even care. Now I, I thought, like, why all this time? And I was assuming you weren't going to tell me. And then you told me the last 10 minutes. I'm like, oh, whatever. So I didn't really, I definitely didn't like it. So it didn't speak to me. I, I really don't think that, like, little kids, maybe, maybe teenagers would like it. Maybe, like, from, like, 
maybe 10 up would like it, but anyone lo- uh, younger than that, yeah. I just don't see them like really paying attention. I don't think it's going to be one of their favorite movies. They're not going to be like, oh, one of my movies that I used to watch over and over again when I was a kid. Right. And that's kind of what I look for when I watch a kid animated movie. I, I think with a lot of these Disney movies and, and these Pixar movies, they have some kind of like a singing com- compilation, you know? And like, no, no, and, and, and everybody can sing like, <laughs> everybody can sing like a Kuna Matata or like a whole new world. Finding Nemo doesn't have any singing. Zootopia doesn't have hey, any singing. Hey, I sing oh. Just Keep Swimming the whole time. Wow, why, why the movies playing? Yeah, the whole time I was like, just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so for me, I'm going to have to probably give it, I'm going to probably, say, I'm going to say four. That's the thing. That comes out. It's not in my heart, oh. it's a four. Oh, I'll oh. make a Derek face right now. Ready? <laughs> Ooh, what? <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's how I feel. Like, four. That's, that's what came out. That's so, how you don't feel. You have no feelings. <laughs> his son's not here. <laughs> And his son said five, so he was <laughs> four plus five, so he gave it a nine too. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> yeah, wow! It's official. Yeah, so I'm just gonna say it's for older kids. It's not for young. It's not for the young kids. But I, that's I, me. I, you know, I could kind of say that too, because you know, I was like kind of taking a lot more of the movie than what they gave me. You know? Yeah. So, all right, guys, that's our break room blitz. Let us know what you think. Like, subscribe, watch the other videos that we've done. Definitely let us know about what you feel about the skits. Hopefully this one made you laugh for sure. It made me laugh. I guess all the math. I only need one person to laugh. Long as me. So I'm, I'm your boy DeAnthony. Adan. And the conch. And we're out. Take care, guys. Peace. Peace. Break room bliss, baby. Ooh, there you are. Please tell me you saw Star Trek. Yeah, I probably got some cold water. Star Trek. Oh, come on. Yes, Star Trek, dude. Like the new one, Star Trek. It went beyond. Okay, dude. I saw it. It was it wasn't beyond. It was cool. It was level. It wasn't beyond though. Dude, it was awesome. Man, how could you even say that? Oh, that's Inspector Gadget. No, it's no. It's yeah. dun 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 dun. Life is like. Uh, I guess it's not either. Yeah. It's driving me crazy over here. It's freaking Ghostbusters. Did it? Did it?